This is Genesis 9.24. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done to him. So this is where we get the meanings of the names. And the first name we now know is Noah because he knew. So Noah is the Noah, but he brings comfort to rest and he is the father. So let's see what he does further. And he said, curse be Canaan. So Canaan is the son of uh, his other son, Ham. So uh, Canaan is a son and Ham is a father and Noah the forefather. So this is interesting that he says Canaan instead of Ham because he said he knew what his younger son had done to him. But his son is not Canaan, it's Ham. A servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren he's talking about ham but he knew what his son had done to him so he knows more and he said blessed be the lord god of shem and canaan shall be his servant and this is the meaning of the name of shem blessed and god shall enlarge japheth and this is also the meaning of japheth which means enlarged and this is also the meaning of canaan which means servitude servant service he shall dwell in the tents of shem and canaan shall be his servant ham already starts the mystery in the fact that we don't know why his son and not him got the curse and he continues the mystery with the fact that we hear about the meaning of everyone else's names except for his. So what is the meaning of Ham? So Ham represents Africa. He has four children and his four children are in the four parts of Africa. As we've discovered, there are a lot of mysteries surrounding the father figure Ham. We don't even know if he actually avoided the curse and we don't even know the actual meaning of his name. So digging deeper into that, as we see here in the map, that we see that there are different places that they actually had different colors for the three different children, and they divided the, the whole world among themselves. So here we actually see in blue is the place where Ham was primarily. And then in green, we see the place where Shem was. So here we have Canaan, and Canaan is right in the middle there. That name that we also need is going to be Ham. It's part of the genealogy. So it is the glory of God to hide things. It is the honor of kings to search out a matter. Besides Canaan's curse and the hidden name, there are other mysteries surrounding Ham, such as the sin. What was his actual sin? What did he actually do? And the other um, mystery that is surrounding Ham is the fact or the question of whether or not he is a Jew. Because we've seen that from Japheth, that's where all of the isles of the Gentiles were. But for Ham, we see that that question is not, or that clause is not put. So they're literally saying that these are the Jews. So the Ham and the Shem are the Jews, and the Gentiles is from Japheth. Let's look at Ham. Ham fathered Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. So when it comes to the land of Ham, since we're talking about Ham again, there's another mystery. The other mystery is that Put was put in the North Africa. So the mystery or the question becomes, so what happened to the rest of Africa, the center and the bottom of it? What happened to it? And the other mystery that I will just unravel here is the fact that Canaan was supposed to dwell in the tents of Shem. So where was his land? Canaan was the only one who was not given land. And this got him very upset because he didn't do anything. It was his father. But it was because of that attitude that he had to be in servitude, in service. To be humble in the tents of Shem, to learn the ways of God. But he was not able to do that. And Canaan ends up being Palestine. So he is, as you will see in the Bible, they will always refer to the children of Abraham as three instead of four because Canaan is not in the land of Ham. But in the land of Ham, this is the whole of Africa. So the question or the mysteries are there before us. It is the glory of God to hide things. 
This is a prophecy encoded in the Hebrew, hard-coded in the Hebrew version of the Bible for the whole of Africa that I'm going to be reading. This is based on the etymology, the names. The name of Ham, as we've discovered, means hot, burnt, or dark. The name of Cush, his first son, is black or dark. Mizraim, the second one mentioned, means double distress or fortress. And put means bow, or maybe it's even bow, or affliction. And then Canaan means lowland or submit. The prophetic explanation of the names of Ham, Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan is burning leads to darkness, double distress, affliction, and submission. And also, you can be part of this movement by donating to this platform, and I will read this way. Or, midst, or ministry, let us wait on our ministering, and he that teaches on teaching, he that exhorts on exhorting, he that gives, let him do it with simplicity, he that rules with diligence, he that shows mercy with cheerfulness. So for the people with the gift of giving, I have just provided the platform for you to donate to my PayPal. And thank you very much. I appreciate it so much. And I'm praying for you, praying that this is what we're supposed to do. Like the word of God should always be spread from the rooftops. The light should not be under a bed, but on top of a hill. So thank you and let God's light shine on you. His real light. Thank you.